सो नेक्स्ट की कॉन्सेप्ट इज एक्चुअली अवेलेबिलिटी और समटाइम्स दिस इज ऑल्सो रिफर्ड एज रिलायबिलिटी एज वेल वॉट रिलायबिलिटी एंड अवेलेबिलिटी मीन्स इज दैट यू नीड टू मेक श्योर दैट योर सिस्टम इज अवेलेबल और रेडिली रिलायबल वेन एवर यू वॉन्ट्स टू वॉट इट मीन्स इज नो मैटर वॉट हैपन्स इन द बैकग्राउंड नो मैटर दर आर लेट से सम अर्थ क्वेक हैपन एंड योर इंटायर डेटा सर्वर हैज क्रैश do you, do you still wants your your services to run as efficiently as possible and let me give you a great example for this uh, actually netflix is pretty famous for creating something called a uh, chaos monkey and what chaos monkey does is that it tries to see or it tries to replicate that how would netflix behave in a chaotic situation or in a chaos situation so the funny thing is with netflix they are completely based on amazon web services uh, it's a cloud computing model we are going to talk about that in the subsequent videos but uh, try to understand it for now now for this aws actually netflix has uh, its region located on three parts of the earth so let's say that this is our earth uh, now these are the three different regions where bunch of different netflix component or netflix applications are running they are all modular they are all scalable they have their way of configuring all of those things and plus uh, they can provide suggestions based on geography so let's say you are uh, residing somewhere over here in india uh, and let's say this server is currently closest to you then this server is going to show you more like india based data and what not but some reason uh, global change or uh, global warming or climate change something 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 happens and let's say one of the server completely gets destroyed i'm not even talking about the the few computers crashing it's just the building has has blown up what would netflix do so netflix they already have a system in place where if something like this happen they are going to have the other two servers be capable enough to keep on showing the netflix without any issues and this is the best definition of availability that how long or uh, how for uh, what what amount of time your system is available or reliable uh, so for that you need to make sure that the systems are redundant uh, over here we can see that the netflix systems are actually redundant because they initially had three instances of same thing running on three different parts of world but then one goes over so again they are still able to function in the most of, uh, effective manner again once this got destroyed uh automatically the load started being transferred to these ones so which means they also have the failover mechanisms uh, in place as well that in case of a failure just start routing the traffic to a different data center and have it uh, running as efficiently as possible also at the same time all of the applications they are currently geo redundant which means they are spread across on the different geographies and different areas so if one part of the world gets affected it is very unlikely that all the other parts are going to be affected as well unless there is a like asteroid comes in that killed all the dinosaurs if some kind of event like that happens then only i don't think then anyone is going to be interested in watching netflix but anyways so you get you get my point that what availability and reliability means uh, now typically in order to measure availability and reliability uh, there are these nines that are being used uh, so what these nines being mean is that let's say this one is 99.999 means this is typically refer as five nines as well uh, what five nines means is that in a single year uh typically you expect your system to be up and running or available 99.999% of time this is one of the measures to measure that how available your systems are there are bunch of different concerns there, there is like 99.99% as well 99.9% as well 95% as well and different availability of course comes with different decisions and uh, more scrutiny so the higher availability you want uh the more capable your system needs to be uh so that's why for many services it is okay to have lower availability because if they are not not so critical so let's say if we talk about again netflix point of view uh netflix let's say that uh, there is there is one service that shows the previews of all the movie that you scroll through and that that preview is going to or uh, is talking to some service in the background now for this preview mechanism is not that important to netflix uh, rather than the ability to be actually uh, be able to see the movies so let's say that seeing the movies they would try to target 99.99% person that yeah you should be able to see the movies 99.99% of the time of the year uh, but let's say for this uh, preview series you can under you you can be uh, 
adjustable and you can say that even if we we are able to see it 95 percent of the time we are still okay with that i mean 95 percent is really bad in terms of availability but i'm just giving you example uh so you can understand that what i mean so there are a lot of considerations but essentially you want to have a readily available system that you can rely upon and many times this can have major consequences in terms of uh is it going to be a good experience for your user or a bad experience for your user so you always want whenever you are designing a system you always want to make sure that your system is readily available and you are taking uh, necessary measures to have that availability in place 